Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to see uh, what is catchment area and what is watershed and what is the difference between a catchment area and a watershed. Um, usually, people use the watershed and catchment area interchangeably. So we are also going to see if there is any similarity between the watershed and catchment area and if there is any difference between them. So um, starting from the definitions of the catchment area and the watershed, you guys can just note them down and uh, use them if you guys want. But I'm going to explain them for using this diagram because I think that's more uh, suitable and it's uh, where it's uh, comparatively easy as compared to looking at the theories so we're going to learn it using this diagram so I'm going to select a marker here okay so starting at the, the higher elevations because everything flows from higher elevation to lower elevation so similarly the water if it is uh, if it starts its journey from the higher elevation it's eventually going to move due to the effect of gravity towards the lower regions, right? So, first of all, we're going to see what is a watershed, right? So, if you see, these are the, the high elevation points, all of these. The red line that I'm creating or making here is a higher elevation. Now, let's suppose there is a precipitation, like, for example, it's, there is a rainfall and um, or, or snowfall. Both can be known as precipitation so if there is a rainfall here or here or somewhere here so it is now going to be divided or distributed some of the water will be distributed here and some of the water will be distributed in the other direction right so we're not going to talk about that direction we're going to just discuss this direction right but just for understanding some water will go to that direction similarly some water will go to that direction and some will be going to this direction so where did we get that water from we get that from the rainfall and snowfall or we can say the precipitation no river no stream gave us that water that water was obtained purely from the rainfall or the snowfall right which is known as precipitation so this is what is known as a watershed the whole divide line that actually divides the distribution of the water to the two regions is known as the watershed. So that's why we also, whenever we uh, are uh, reading the explanation of the watershed, we also um, see that people call it as divide line between two regions where the water is distributed. So this is the topmost peak or region from where the water gets distributed into different parts. So that is known as a watershed. And now you know that this water from these top portions will be distributed to the whole area downstream or the, at the downside. It will be distributed to the whole area. So we can say that this water will eventually be distributed to the whole region like this. And how will it be distributed? It will be distributed in the form of streams, in the form of rivers, and in the form of precipitation or uh, I mean not precipitation in the form of infiltration because the soil will absorb some of the um, water on the way and that absorbed water will also end up going somewhere in the at the downside because it will go somewhere it will not disappear right so that's how the watershed works it is actually the water that starts from the higher point it goes all the way towards the lower regions in the form of rivers, streams, and a lot of things. So that's pretty much the explanation of a watershed. Now we'll discuss the catchment area. The catchment area basically is a part of watershed that comes in between the, uh, on, on the way in the watershed. So let's suppose you want to know the catchment area for this point, this point. And catchment area means that the water that is uh, coming or being catched by some area to that point, it is known as a catchment area. So if I am asking you, what is the catchment area of this point? So it means I'm trying to know that where is this point catching the water from? So it is getting the water from which area? Of course, it is getting from the up 
uh, from the top or the higher elevation so somewhere from there somewhere from there similarly this water will be coming here this region will be getting giving the water to that point so if you make a diagram of which area is getting giving the water to that or contributing in uh, the catchment area it is something like this but we know uh, that also this region this specific region is also coming from the watershed so that's why sometimes people um, interchangeably use the names of the catchment area and the watershed because it is a part of a watershed right this region is a part of a watershed but more specifically it is a uh, catchment area so for this point the catchment area is this whole region and where is the water in the catchment area coming from through these streams that are being created by the rainfall and the strong uh, the, the snowfall which was uh, being uh, done on the watersheds or the top elevations so that's why we uh, that's what we call as catchment area now the catchment area will increase if we go more down if we go here so now the catchment area is this if we go and similarly this hole is the watershed for that also if you go here or here so the catchment area is this and the watershed is this also it is also same thing right so let's now wind up the things if we discuss uh, if you see a little bit of the differences between them that is number one the watershed let's discuss the watershed here and the catchment area here so basically both are same and it simply means that where the, the, the region is getting water from but if we see the watershed at this top elevation is getting water purely from where it is getting the water from the rainfall and or rainfall or snowfall and it is not getting the water from the streams or from the rivers it is purely getting it from the uh, uh, rainfall and the snowfall but if we see at the catchment area it might get the water from rainfall at certain regions or at specific points if there is some rainfall it might get from there or snowfall but it is also getting it from the streams which was not in the case of watershed and rivers if any and yeah these rivers and streams are actually originating from the watershed but watershed was not coming from the streams or uh, rivers basically it was actually starting from the topmost part and then being converted into rivers number second here it also creates a divide line the watershed it creates a divide line it creates a divide line so watershed and catchment area are almost same things but if you want to differentiate them so you can differentiate them on the basis of the divide line or on the basis of the the water that is being uh, accumulated in watershed or catchment area so I hope you guys will not be confused now and let me again quickly tell you that what is the watershed and what is the catchment area. So watershed is that region from where the water gets divided into two regions and then it is distributed to the whole uh, area. And in that watershed, in that whole watershed area, there are small catchment areas which eventually become bigger, bigger bigger and maybe the whole watershed becomes the whole catchment area and all those catchment areas are actually watersheds they are watersheds and all those small watershed eventually become a big watershed so we can just uh, by this means we can know what is a catchment area or watershed now let's just uh, not uh, get confused by what is a watershed and what is a catchment area just let's see what is the main concept behind the catchment area or watershed what is the main thing let's for a time being see uh, neglect the difference the little difference and let's see what is the main concept the main concept is that if you want to know where the water is coming to a certain area like this one 
we can know by just going back to all the streams like following all the streams back and they will eventually be originating from some higher elevation regions and those higher elevation regions will tell us or will take us to the main uh, parts from where the water is coming and that's how we can know that what is the catchment area or watershed of that region and we can know that is the catchment area watershed a bigger one or smaller one and thus we can also in detail study so what happens in a catchment area watershed the water comes from higher elevation to a lower elevation and gets collected at certain regions or might flow ahead into more lower regions or maybe get collected if there is some sort of a, a obstruction then it might get collected there but if there is no obstruction it is being allowed to flow so it might also flow on the way like, just like in the stream so i guess that's pretty much an explanation of what is a catchment area or watershed thank you very much